Well, we're saving lives. We're saving lives. So everybody back there laying on one of those tables uh, is saving a life. They just don't know whose life they are saving. But uh, on a daily basis, our doctors and nurses uh, see people in the emergency room, uh, illness, uh, injuries, and uh, blood is so necessary uh, to, for their care to save their life. So uh, uh, this is something that uh, the Red Cross does very well. And uh, we want to know when uh, our friend, our us, uh, are in that situation that there's going to be blood available. And I'm so thankful that we've got a steady stream of people coming in here to make sure that that blood bank is filled. Uh, people get to come over here, they get to see the inside of Nissan Stadium, the heart of Nashville, uh, see the home of the Tennessee Titans, uh, and save a life all in one day. So uh, whether it's the police department, fire department, or the sheriff's office, uh, we're competing for Nashville. And uh, so uh, this is a friendly competition, uh, but we're going to do what we can to win. But uh, the real winners will be those people in need uh, in those hospitals uh, suffering some illness or some life-threatening injury. In light of all the recent tragedies, how important is it for the community to see officers, firefighters out here today giving back? Well, I think that uh, everybody in the community needs to see our police officers. Uh, we remain alert. We remain vigil. So whether it's the fire department, the police department, uh, or the sheriff's office, uh, we're on the job. And uh, these recent events just emphasize uh, the importance of the work that the men and women out there on the street, uh, whether it's a police officer, uh, whether it's someone in the fire department rescuing you from uh, some automobile crash, or whether it's the sheriff's office providing the care that they provide. Uh, they're all necessary and vital functions, and uh, Nashville has a lot to be proud of in those public safety personnel uh, that are out there on the first responders on the streets. Well, I think we're doing more of what we do every day. Our officers are trained to be vigilant. Our officers are trained to be alert. Our officers are, are trained to respond in a safe manner. So uh, that is just being re-emphasized over these few days uh, to making sure that uh, we're on our game, uh, that we, in fact, uh, uh, adhere to our training, and uh, that we remain vigilant and cautious. Facebook, Twitter, I've seen a lot of outpouring of support. I mean, letters, people buying officers, firefighters, all departments, meals. I mean, just what's your take on, on the, the outpouring of support from the community here? You know, I, I think uh, what you're seeing with that outpouring of support for the community is just people uh, being uh, uh, prompted to express what they're feeling every day. Uh, the citizens of Nashville are really supportive of all, of all the public safety workers on the streets and I think this just prompts people to step forward uh, and express that support. That's the support we see every day. Uh, you're just seeing it in a more visual, uh, uh, a more visual way uh, over the past few days. Chief, you've been to this event before, we've been to this event before. When you look back, I know we kind of touched on it in a second, but when you look back, everything that's happened, this event, this particular drive, how is it different for you to be here today? Well, I think that uh, the events that uh, we've seen over the past few days just emphasize the need uh, for that blood to be readily available. And uh, we're so proud that uh, the, the Tennessee Titans are hosting us right here in Nissan Stadium. Uh, that further emphasizes their community support. Uh, it emphasizes the, the support of the community. And you see the crowd gathered behind you uh, waiting to give that blood. Well, obviously, when I hear something like that, I, I am, one, uh, so disappointed, uh, two, so concerned about what goes on here in Nashville. So uh, yesterday, Chief Johnson and I uh, spent a lot of time talking about uh, what we need to do here in Nashville, shoring up the procedures we have, making sure that our officers out there on the street have the support that they need. So uh, uh, events like this just uh, emphasize our need to, again, follow that training, uh, to be vigilant, uh, to call on the community to su for support, to report su suspicious activity uh, so that we can, in fact, take whatever action needs to be taken. And you guys have sensitivity training, right? We do. We do. So uh, uh, part of our training and recruit training and on ongoing uh, in-service training is uh, working with the community, cultural awareness, sensitivity. Uh, so uh, our officers are well-trained and they respond so very well on a daily or hourly basis out there on the street. 
library tonight? Library tonight? Okay. Tonight is an example. Tonight, uh, we have a Citizens Police Academy. That's just citizens that we gather from all across Nashville and expose them uh, over a several week, uh, once, a, once a night, uh, once, once a week uh, night uh, to what goes on in the police department. Tonight, we'll be going over to the public library uh, to meet in the civil rights room upstairs. If any citizen of Nashville has not been to that room, uh, you should take a visit. Uh, the room emphasizes what went on back here in Nashville in the 1960s. In the 1960s, Nashville was a leader in the civil rights movement. Uh, and you'll see a recreation of a lunch counter uh, that uh, played an important part of what went on in that civil rights movement. And uh, library personnel conduct uh, what is a very good tour of Nashville in the 1960s, uh, the civil rights movement, and bringing us up to where we are today. So our, our citizens in that Citizen Police Academy uh, will get that tour tonight. Uh, we do that with every police recruit class, and we're starting our in-service classes, uh, uh, rolling them through there uh, over the next couple of years. Can you talk about community policing? I know I talked to some community leaders, and they were saying that it's really uh, kind of set president or I mean, Basically, it should be used on a national model. I mean, basically, for what Nashville does here, I think it works really well. You know, uh, several years back, we decentralized our operation, and we moved everything out to the precincts. So each precinct is pretty much a police department in a neighborhood. So we try very hard to be a neighborhood police department. Each, police, each precinct has a community coordinator. Uh, we have community events. Uh, I met with uh, a couple of pastors this morning from various congregations asking what they can do. And so we're uh, making sure that our community coord uh, coordinators visit those, uh, those congregations and uh, do whatever we can to make uh, this one big community uh, putting together all of the uh, 636 neighborhood groups we have and all the communities across Nashville. Nashville is the 25th largest city in the United States. We think of ourselves as a small town and uh, in other places when I'm asked I point out that Nashville is the largest small town in America and we all work together and uh, uh, no community is pitted against uh, another community and we think that this police department helps bind Nashville together to make it what it is. You think uh, on a national level that what we're doing here could be used and implemented throughout other departments? I, I think that uh, any police department could learn from what we do here just like that uh, we learn from other police departments. Uh, uh, I attend uh, various meetings throughout the year where I'm sitting with uh, the chiefs from the 73 largest cities, the United States, Canada, and Great Britain and uh, I steal every idea that I can to bring back here to Nashville, and uh, I hope they're stealing from us as well.